Hi everyone, good morning. Welcome to the town hall debate to all the candidates as well as anyone who's watching us. Um, I am Ishwini Lama, Managing Editor of The Dialogue, and I'd like to welcome everyone here today for the first round of the town hall debate. Uh, we will have three debates throughout the day today, and the first one here is with the uh, candidates for Director of Student Experience. So welcome. Um, so the SA Board of Directors are responsible for being student representatives at the Student Association, and particularly the Director of Student Experience is responsible for um, managing student engagement and all recreational activities um, for the SA. So this debate uh, has a few rules we will have first of all we'll have um we will give you an opportunity to, to give a an opening statement we will give you an opportunity to give a closing statement and we have two other rounds uh, and during those rounds we'll ask you questions first individually and then there will be a common question that each of you can answer so i'll just go through the general rules to begin with so um, the first general rule is that there will be a time limit. Uh, I'll specify the time limit at the beginning of each round, and the time limit must uh, the time limit must be strictly followed. So if the time limit is is exceeded, the speaker will be cut off. Um, so I will show you a thirty second remaining card, and then I'll also show you a ten second remaining card. And we'd like to urge you to kind of wrap it up by the ten second because if you exceed the time then we will blow this it's like and that makes a terrible sound so <laughs> yes yeah so that's the ultimate your time is up and you can no longer speak um, beyond that so yeah and then uh please respect the speakers only one person will be allowed to speak at a time you'll be handed a microphone to speak and then if another candidate speaks over the speaker they will either lose some time of their next speaking turn um, or the opportunity to rebuttal in the next round or an entire speaking turn ac according to the rules specific to each round um, that follows. And uh, please, uh, inappropriate language or actions will lead to the loss of a chance for the candidate to speak again. No personal attacks will be allowed and all remarks and comments during rebuttal or statements must remain professional. And then candidates must refrain from using personal electronic devices during the entirety of the debate. Thank you. Um, and then, like I said before, you will receive one minute to deliver an op opening statement. This can include, but is not limited to your motivation to run for the position, the work that you do, and wh why you are right for this position. And at the end of the uh, debate, you'll get one minute for closing arguments. In this time, you can summarize your ideas and conclude your arguments. So those are the general rules. All right, so first of all, uh, we will start with the opening statements. We, have to, uh, we are supposed to have 10 candidates here, but we, I think at this moment, have six. So we will start because it's already time. So yes, I will give you each one minute to give your opening statements. And perhaps we can start from here. Yes, thank you. Oh, hi, my name is. Oh, okay. Hi, my name is Anna, and I'm currently studying business marketing at George Brown. And so, oh, is it good enough now? Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, so why am I? What am I going to do uh, as a direct if I get the position? So some some things are required of me, right? Like for example, raising awareness. I think all of us are going to do that. So, and I'm not only planning on raising awareness. I also want people to be engaged, okay? And not only engaged, but, uh, but also inspired. Because at the end of the day, when you leave this place and leave an event, uh, we want you to just get something out of it, like not just one, but something more than that. And another thing is that a lot of times we're trying to sell events in this college, but I just don't wanna do that. I wanna sell Toronto as well, because we're in Toronto and it's a big city and it's a great city. So we should take advantage of that. And, I think my time is up, right? No, oh, okay, good. <laughs> okay, another thing, uh, another requirement of me is that to fill in the gap between students and the college. And so I'm gonna be that person that's gonna like help you initiate what you wanna do, if it's a club, if it's an event and all of that. 
And but I think that's it because another point is gonna be too long. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, uh, do you know how many services George one offers to uh, the students? There are 16 main services and each one of them has three subcategory services that George Brown offers to the students. And do you know that GBC spends $44,000 every year on student services? Uh, hello everyone, my name is Ramandeep Kaur and uh, I'm currently pursuing supply chain management at George Brown College. Uh, uh, I am one of the candidates for the director of student experience position and uh, being an international student, I understand that uh, it is very quite hard to settle down in a new country and um, but GBC has been very welcoming and uh, has really helpful in making my settle down easier. <laughs> So uh, I want to give that experience back to my students community in a better way. And I will work on three aspects that to make students aware of these services, to get involved in those uh, events, events, more and more events and how they stay connected to the events. Yeah, thank you. Hi folks, I'm Simran Malhotra. Sorry, I have a bad throat today. I have been the director of student experience for the academy for the year 2022 to 2023. And I believe that the student experience is about building a community, finding a place and making lifelong experiences. At our institution, both at George Brown and the Student Association, we believe that every student should have opportunity to thrive and succeed both academically and professionally. As the director of student experience last year, I was able to grow as a person, both professionally and personally. This place, I call it as my home because it has given me so many opportunities and there have been stuff we have been doing. It is my responsibility to ensure that we are providing the resources, support and the programs that our students need to achieve their goals as well as their aspirations. We... One of our key priorities has always been to create a welcoming and inclusive environment for everyone. We all know that George Brown is full of international students and coming out of a pandemic, a lot of students has a lot of different responsibilities as well as expectations from us. They wanted the better experience because they were missing on a lot when we were in COVID because things were entirely different when we were online and we have been creating a welcoming and inclusive environment that values diversity, fosters a sense of belonging for all the students. We are committed to providing a safe and supportive community that empowers our students to pursue their passions, take risks and grow both academically and personally. Hello. Hello. My name is Navjot Kumar. And I am from Punjab, India. And like when I was 20, I wrote a book. I'm an author too. And I was pursuing uh, aerospace engineering and LPU. But because I have to handle my family business, I dropped off and I came here to pursue food and beverages. And like it's kind of related to the director of student experience because we have to organize events in that. We have this course introduction to catering that teaches us about everything like floor planning, what food should be served, how it should be served, everything like that. And like by being uh, like when I become the director of student experience, if I become the director of student experience, I will provide a supportive, inclusive environment where students can thrive academically, socially, physically, like in gym and mentally. I'm committed to working with students, faculty, and staff to en enhance the overall student experience and ensure each student has the opportunity to reach his full potential. Thank you. Good? Hello, everybody. 
Hope you're all doing well. My name is Peter Corno. I am in second semester construction management program. I am the class representative for that program too. It's an awesome program. I really like it. And I want to run for director of student experience because I, well, there's a few reasons why. I can't get, all, get to all of them right now because we only have three minutes, unfortunately. But a few of the more main important reasons is because I remember back when I was at a different university, I wanted to try to meet new people, especially during COVID. It got really difficult. And something that would have helped would have been school experiences. I came here and I started playing foosball, Jatoni in the commons area. And that's how I started meeting a lot of people. Hence, I started making a foosball club with over 150 members now, which I'm very proud of. And with that, I, we can gather more people together. We can have more of a fun time together. We can meet new people. And that is what I want to do with the role of director of student experience. And I hope you all have a great day. Bye. Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Piyush Chaudhary, and I'm a postgraduate student of digital media marketing. And uh, this is actually my first time being alone and uh, living alone uh, in a new country. And uh, it has been really difficult. Uh, and just like me, it has been, it, it must be really difficult for a lot of people to come out of their comfort zone and, you know, in a new world, make themselves. So that is why uh, it is really important for the college and the student association uh, to make the students feel welcome and give, give, give them a space uh, where they can feel, have a feeling of belongingness. And that's where, uh, you know, the student experience comes in. And uh, I have a few uh, ideas, innovative ideas that I would like to bring to the table that can help create more awareness about all the services that the student association has to offer and also to engage more students and to uh, actually, uh, you know, uh, re-evaluate the way uh, we, uh, reevaluate the way we actually are able to uh, hold events so that more people are able to engage and have equal opportunity to be a part of it. Thank you. Thank you, candidates, for your opening statements. Um, so this, uh, this was your opportunity to get to know them and what they, what they stand for and who they are. Next, we will go to the individual questions round. So in this round, we will ask each candidate an individual question, which will be um, in line with your position with the position that you're running for and this will be your opportunity to share how you feel about um, you know that particular question what are your plans what are your ideas and all of that so i'll read out the rules for the individual round okay for so for the individual question round Okay, so for the individual question round, we'll give each candidate two minutes maximum to answer the question. And uh, like I said, each, question, each candidate will be asked one question for this round. A maximum of two candidates, two other candidates will be allowed to rebuttal. So there is a rebuttal in this round. So in, uh, while the candidate, while candidate A is answering, candidate B and C might raise their hands, but only a maximum of two candidates are allowed. So kindly raise your hands as soon as you wish to rebuttal. So we will hand you those cards. The first person will be, gi be given the number one card and the second person will be given the number two card. And um, each, um, but however, it must be noted that each candidate will only be allowed a maximum of two rebuttal opportunities for the entire round. So the same uh, participant cannot rebuttal more than twice. And if a candidate continuously attempts to rebuttal more than twice, they might lose the opportunity to answer in the next round. And uh, like I said, the number on the cards will signify the, the sequence in which you will speak. Okay, um, so we will just go this way now. Um, all of the questions are different, so you will each get your opportunity to talk about, uh, to answer the questions and talk about whatever um, your plans are. So we'll start here with Piyush. Okay, so Piyush, you get two minutes to answer this question and the rules with the time limit are the same. So we'll show you the 30 second, the 10 second, and then blow the air horn. All right, so first question, Piyush, for you is, student engagement is a major component of student experience. What is your view on the lack of student engagement in elections, especially with lack of candidates for 
director of communications and internal position during the fall elections. How would you work on improving student engagement with the SA elections in the future? Uh, so as you correctly said that yes, student engagement for the, uh, you know, the elections has been low and uh, we have, we had to really push ourselves to, to get people to nominate uh, for the uh, positions and the, the steps that I would take uh, in order to, uh, you know, increase uh, the engagement of the students uh, in this whole election process is, uh, I would first, uh, you know, so we are already promoting uh, all the uh, all the events and all the uh, election details on social media. However, what I could do uh, to increase that uh, awareness and increase that reach is, uh, you know, promote it uh, using uh, promotional content. So uh, uh, running advertisements on social media is one option. The second option is uh, like we are already uh, using, uh, you know, uh, catching eyeballs uh, on all the campuses uh, with the help of the TVs, with the help of displays, with the help of, you know, tabling uh, sessions on all the campuses. But it would be uh, really nice if we could have actually a proper notice board for which is dedicated to SA on all the campuses where people can actually know about all the events. Because I, I once uh, when I started talking to people, uh, I got to know that a lot of people don't really know about all the events and all, all the things that the SA is doing for the students. So it would really have, it would really be nice to have a dedicated space where we can post all the events that are, that, that, that are happening throughout the next month uh, in one place where people can actually come and get updated because not everybody is on social media and we have been focusing way too much on social media to be able to uh, get our reach. Okay, thank you, Piyush. So we'll allow the first rebuttal opportunity. Hello, hi Piyush, very well answered the question. I like that. Um, so my question is like, uh, even after advertising and everything that George Brown is still doing, but uh, students are still not uh, coming up for this position because I think according to my experience, because they are lacking leadership skills and uh, they so that they are uh, because they lack leadership skills they are not able to come up so what will you do to increase uh, to inculcate those leadership skills in the students yep uh, so uh, as you correctly said that might be one of the reasons that people uh, students are not uh, you know nominating themselves because they are not really confident they might have uh, that insecurity that they might not be a good leader, even though they, they, I believe everybody can be a good leader. It just takes a little bit of practice and some confidence and to inculcate that in, uh, in most of the students, uh, the steps that I would take is uh, to make a dedicated, uh, you know, club uh, or ask people to make a dedicated club, uh, which can inculcate these leadership skills and we can uh, bring guest speakers uh, who can actually motivate people for that. Thank you. We'll allow the second rebuttal opportunity. Thank you. Very well answered, Piyush. Just a quick point to mention that we have seen there have been a lot of nominations for the post of Director of Student Experience, Director of Education and Equity, and other representatives as well. I've talked to students on ground, and what we have felt is that um, students have not nominated themselves for the post of Director of uh, Communications and Internal because it requires a lot of different qualifications. I mean, the international students can't do it because they need to remove some of their course load, which you know, the international student fees is so high and they can't do it. My question to you is that we do have a lot of different posters on campus. If you see on Casaloma, Waterfront and St. James and the social media is doing really well, but then also the engagement is not going up. What do you think is missing right now? I mean, at this point of time. Uh, thank you so much for the question, Simran. So uh, personally, I mean, if you look at just because I've seen the candidate list, we have a lot of candidates for directors who experience, as we can see, there are a lot of candidates for the education and equity, but uh, there are not much uh, uh, for the communication and internals. 
to be honest i wanted to run for that too but i was not able to because it required to have 50% uh, less than 50% of normal course load uh, which uh, you know held me back uh, the thing that i would like to do is restructure the board of director in a way that no, that the responsibilities of the director of uh, director of communication and internals can be shared so that that requirement can be uh, lowered so that more and more people can thank you so much piyush and thank you for the rebuttal question um so just to reiterate we will i think i forgot to mention this earlier but for rebuttal we'll allow you one minute uh one minute each and then if there is a question directed to the person who was answering the question we will allow the person 30 seconds to answer that all right thank you so much we'll move on to the next person and i'm sorry i cannot read your name from here but um peter okay thank you so peter um your question for which you will get 2 minutes to answer is all right classes and other responsibilities tend to keep students from actively participating in activities how do you aim to drive more engagement for students to increase their involvement in campus activities i think one of the biggest assets you can have especially as a student throughout life is having a calendar and just to keep track of everything i have a calendar personally and it helps me keep track of classes it helps me know when i have free time the more you track down the more free time you have because you because then you know the time you can spare now to actually get students to maybe follow this is maybe promote this around a bit maybe hold a few calendar classes how to actually you know how to manage your time have a few classes around the school or even just a little club classes like that where people can try to get together and manage their time like a group of productive people to help each other stay on track so then you can get everything done together a little more motivation always helps that's everything um is there anyone who wants to do a rebuttal to that all right all right perfect so we will move on to the next candidate navjot um your question is okay, your question is in this position you are expected to create and develop an annual plan for student communications and campaigns that engage students how do you aim to fulfill this expectation what is a campaign you could run to engage more students uh that's an interesting question uh i would like campaigning for me i would like to go to classes with my people like with my friends who know how to engage people like i have the community in the hospitality department who helps me like they know everything about they know the people around the building i am not well established in the kasaloma but still like i play here at uh, the that pool table so i have the people around they know me now so i can just let them know that we are we have to engage more people and let the other people know that's called networking like i can like get a, a leader like a leader from a single class and then i can network through them to the other classes so that's how like this will go on thank you all right so we have two people wishing to rebuttal uh first we have simran simran please note that this is your last rebuttal opportunity um my question to you would be you mentioned that you would campaign using the class talks you know the important element about class talks is getting permission for lecturers i mean professors don't easily give the permissions how do you plan to pursue them and i mean it requires the big skill of networking that as you mentioned but i mean how does the class talks would help to campaign as you said like the i need to get permission for the lecturer like when the lecture is over the students are still in the class like the professor leaves uh, i can get into the class and then i can uh, like explain everything when there are people still but uh, like most of the people will be there at the end of the class so i think that's how i'll, I'll do that thank you i like your response i saw one of the people here actually promoting to other uh, other people to get their name out but something that i think we should do is create more of a want factor maybe create some prizes you know for example for uh the foosball club i help run 
one of the ways we get people to stay or to go is we have a want factor. We maybe throw in a prize, a raffle. They come for the prize. They stay for the food, the foosball, the fun time. And that's kind of what we do. And if we can implement that into other systems, hopefully it should work too. I think that's already in the system. The prizes, pricing system, as I saw in the casino night, there is the that pricing system. So I don't think so. That's the point. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much, Sophia. Um, all right, thank you so much, Navjot, and all the people who participated. Um, all right, so next we have Simran. Simran, uh, your question, for which you will be given two minutes, is equity and inclusivity are important for a good student experience. How will you promote this through events and recreation? As I mentioned uh, in my opening statement as well, George Brown is the school and home for a lot of international as well as domestic students. International students means a lot of different students from diverse backgrounds, right? And throughout my term last year, we have been able to organize a lot of different events that included a lot of different students. I recently remember that we organized the Soka Night um, celebrating and honoring Black Culture Month. And we do Desi, Desi nights, where, which includes South Asian culture. What I truly believe is that we had this end of semester, um, mid of semester party after um, our midterms was over. And it included all of the people from diverse backgrounds. What I believe is that if students, we have got a campus, we have got people and students can know about the different cultures as well as diverse backgrounds by participating in those events, which we have successfully seen. They see nights, a lot of different students, not only from South Asian backgrounds, but also from different backgrounds participate as well as on the soca night there were different students from different backgrounds i think which serves the purpose that inclusivity as well as creating the space for a lot of students is something that we can do and we have been all we have already been doing that for the past time hi simran uh, very nice work i liked your answer and uh, what my question is like um like you talked about the desi night and all these uh, uh clubs and events they uh, ask for generally they ask for uh, like uh, fees kind of uh, which is quite low but still uh, students are not willing to pay as I have talked to many students in my campus at Waterfront so uh, the only problem they have like that the they are self services that uh, we have to pay for everything. Uh, so why is it so? Like international students, um, they come, uh, they spend a lot of money coming here and then they are like, uh, we have to pay for other services. How are you planning towards that, uh, to the payments and all everything? Thank you so much for the question. Answering your question quickly, that a student association is a non-profit organization and we, we do subsidize almost everything. I remember we organized this Blue Mountain trips that cost for trips trip was somewhere around 190 bucks. We subsidized it for 45 bucks. So we do need funds for the proper functioning of the organization. But at the end of the day, we are subsidizing it and that's the, word, that's the maximum thing we can do. But we do have a lot of services that are free, SNAP, student nutrition access program free grocery that is included in your tuition and a lot a lot of other services as well hi Simran. thank you so much uh, for answering that question it was nice uh, my question is uh, that we have uh, okay so we have had a lot of uh, events uh, a lot of parties a lot of events uh, but i mean uh, you know to be honest, what I have noticed being a part of SA and I have attended most of the events that, uh, you know, and we know that majority of the students uh, in, in, the, in the college are uh, Southeast, South Asians. So 
uh, I have noticed that let's say for example Desi Knight and Mod that we had right now. So Desi Knight had a lot a, a lot of foot uh, footfall on them. Uh, but uh, if we can if we consider like the Mod which had which was specifically not for Southeast. Uh, uh, South Asians, but uh, it was uh, for all other culture. It had hip hop music and all. So the uh, the engagement in that event uh, was less. So how, what will you do to engage, improve? I think answering your questions directly, we have been in conversation with the administrative offices that the in general at George Brown, the domestic enrollment has decreased by 60% this year, which is a big number, which means that if the domestic student enrollment has decreased, that means international student enrollment has increased. That means we have more of international students. So that directly involves their participation more. So what I think is that what we have is what we get. Thank you. Thank you, Simran. Um, next we have Ramandeep. All right. All right. So uh, we have one more candidate who has joined us. Um, okay. So um, if you would briefly introduce yourself. Sure. I'm sorry, Ramdi. It will take like just two seconds. Hi. Uh, my name is Shaurya Joshi. I'm standing for position of director of. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Uh, hi. My name is Shaurya Joshi. I'm standing for the position of director of student experience. And I'm putting a lot in effort to do that. Um, I'm, I'm helping, I'm thinking to revolutionize the whole concept of the experience that we had uh, on the campus. Now we, uh, now the COVID has kind of gone. So now I want to get the real experience the students have uh, on the campus. Students, uh, including international students, have been paying a lot of money for this kind of experience. It's not just books, classes, and assignments. It's m a lot more than that. On campus, we have three main campus in Toronto. Uh, we're going to revolutionize the events, not just the parties, also how to connect with other peers. That's my goal. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, we will continue with our individual question round and Shoria will get to you at the once everyone is done. Yes. So, okay, Ramandeep, um, your question is, the SA has many student services available. How do these fit into student experience? And how can you, if elected as director of student experience, advocate for and connect students to improve the experience for them? So uh, there are many student services available at Student Association. And one of them is like SNAP, uh, which people don't know about. And there are many other services other than SNAP. And uh, I would like to uh, make students aware of these services by uh, posting on Instagram. Uh, I'm planning to make a Instagram page or the GBC student and where that uh, from where we can uh, make students aware of these programs and uh, we can also take the feedbacks or the options from the students uh, about what services do they need and we can look forward to include those services in the student association in future. Thank you. Thank you. This an interesting answer. I have this question like, there's a girl studying with me in TMU. She gets like the groceries every week. And like here in George Brown, we are getting it monthly, I guess. So like, how can we do that? We can go to reach at their level. So yeah, my friend is also studying at TMU and uh, yeah, I, I also know that they get a weekly groceries and we get a monthly groceries, but the amount of groceries that we get uh, for a month is sufficient uh, to uh, cater to the students. Also, uh, student association has uh, other options also outside of this campus if student uh, feels that uh, they are in need of a grocery and they are running out of their groceries. So, so they have uh, many options outside the campus. That is uh, daily grocery and um, some other also. 
so you can visit them and you can uh, take your groceries from there as well yes thank you thank you do we have any other people wanting to do a rebuttal okay please go ahead so my question is simple so what are you going to do extra than uh, Simran uh, from the last year? She did advertise on social media and stuff. What are you going to do extra about it? So uh, what I feel when I landed in Canada and I went uh, for, from the starting of my day in George Brown, I asked from many students, they were not aware about these services that are offered in at George Brown. So uh, some of them, like I went to Career Service Center and they said that uh, people don't know about some tip sheets and many other online services that Career Service offer. And also, uh, I went to library and they said uh, that people don't know about the Wi-Fi, portable Wi-Fi services and many other services. So I'm planning to make students more aware about these services through Instagram and many other social services. Thank you, Ramandeep. So we'll move on to our next candidate, who is Anahita. Yes. Um, and Anahita, your question for the individual round is... Okay, um, how do you plan to approach the student experience of students belonging to various groups or having different accessibility requirements, for example, international students or students with disabilities? Okay, so I think that goes back to the like culture of making everyone feel uh, belong, uh, like that they belong to this community. And I think one thing is that we should uh require like have the requirements for them but at the same time sometimes we go we go and overthink it in a way that we make we make them feel excluded by just like putting too much focus on like differences and all of that so i think uh the best we can do is to have the proper equipment and all of that and the right attitude we just shouldn't make them feel like that they don't belong or they're very different from us Rebuttals. Thank you. No worries. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes, you have already done two rebuttals. Sorry. If there is anyone else who hasn't used up their rebuttal turns. And uh, because you joined a little late, we just, uh, so we just allowed two rebuttals. But I guess we're basically done. So please go ahead. Okay. Okay. So, as uh, like at George Brown, it's quite diverse. How are you going to, uh, go to each group and solve their issues like um for international students just from india there are uh, different parts of india because students are coming from gujarat punjab haryana different states just from one country different states how are you gonna uh, address issues from that particular groups thank you so much i recently learned that in india there are 28 languages i was like wow <laughs> that's interesting but okay um, so I, I'm going to go back to my major, okay? I study marketing, and part of my job is to do market research. I understand that I cannot make everyone happy, even though I will do my best that scientifically, with the use of like surveys, qualitative research, quantitative research, have enough data to act upon data, do it scientifically. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, Anahita. We'll move on to the final candidate for this round. Uh, we have Shoria. Okay, great. So Shoria, your question is, how familiar are you with the student association and the work that it does? Are your values aligned with the values of the student association? And how will this help you in this position? So I've been with George Brown more than two years. And in just two years, I haven't been just doing assignments and stuff. I have been on campus. I have been uh, studying what Student Association does. Not just these programs, SNAP programs. It's doing a lot more than that. Uh, they get contributions uh, for events, fundings uh, for events. And lately, uh, just uh, focusing on those events, I have got the courage to get on the uh, get on uh, this, these elections and stand for this position because. Lately, I've been thinking that they can, uh, they have been uh, doing that, not that great because uh, the standard, like uh, when I uh, came, uh, when I had to apply for George Brown, um, I se selected, like I was quite 
um, anxious that the, uh, the standard is quite high. But the moment I got into the uh, college, the events, all the stuff, then I, I, I was like doubtful about it. So I just want to standardize those every events, uh, everything uh, based on the nutrition program, uh, all other uh, things that George Brown provides. They are not getting provided to the uh, students right in rightful manner. Uh, that's all. Oh, thank you so much for answering that. So my question to you is, uh, like, let's say uh, you 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 were honest that you the essay services and the and the way essay works, you are it didn't uh, you know satisfy your expectations. So what would you do differently if you are elected uh, to not let that happen? Just like standardizing, making a standard. Uh, let's take an example of boat cruise. Did you go to the boat cruise? The cruise, uh, the food, even the uh, latest uh, Bollywood party, uh, they charge us a fee on top of that. Every, every uh, Bollywood night, every uh, Desi night gets all booked. Uh, it's completely booked. On top of that, what were uh, they serving? How was the DJ? They got into college uh, essay lounge and they charge us fee, not providing the best food. Those services, I didn't like it, really. OK. All right, so thank you so much, all the candidates, for um, your answers for the individual round. Um, so uh, the next round that we'll have is the common question round. So I'll be asking one question and each of you will be answering the same question. So for this, um, I mean, we, we thought of picking names and stuff like that, but maybe we can just go alphabetically, if that's all right with everyone. So we'll start with where... Um, Last name. Okay. All right. So we'll do that way. Um, so the question, so for this, I'll just read out the, the rules for this round. So first of all, like I said, one common question will be asked to all candidates. Um, and each candidate will be given 90 seconds to answer the question. And uh, there is no rebuttal allowed in this round, but uh, you can you can build up on your competitors or your or your the other candidates' points within the 90 seconds that are allowed for your answer. So no questioning to each other will be allowed in this round. All right, so we'll start with Piyush. Okay, so the question for this round is, what does being director of student experience mean to you? How will you maximize the platform you have if elected? Uh, so the position of student experience, director of student experience means acting as a bridge between the student services, between the events, between the student association and the students. And uh, I know for a fact that there are a lot of students who don't really know uh, about all the, you know, equity relief fund, the SNAP, the Safe Fork, all the programs that we have to offer. And I want to make a create awareness about that. And... Uh, the, the next thing is, I know for a fact that a lot of people, uh, you know, complain that they don't have the opportunity to be a part of events because the tickets are sold out or maybe they were not aware of it. So I want to make a space where everybody, uh, you know, uh, feels safe, feels belonged, and they have uh, equal opportunity to be a part of all the uh, services, all the events. They are able to use uh, the services that the SA has to offer and uh, they are aware about everything uh, you know that can benefit them because uh, anyway the student life is really hard and uh, it's really hectic and uh, i want to ease out uh, that, their you know stressful situation uh, by being uh, there for them thank you thank you next we have peter director of student experience means means to be there for everybody and hear everyone out. That's, I think, one of the most important things, actually, to make sure you listen to everybody, make sure everyone's able to contact you, and make sure, and just make sure you're able to give everyone at least the proper answer 
a proper result that they're expecting. One way, one way that I would um, help with this is have make sure you're always being able to be contacted. Make sure you're always in contact. Make sure people can always contact you. So then you can hear them. You can listen to their voice. You can talk to them. They know that they're there and they're not just talking to a brick wall, but they're talking to someone that is just like them because we're all students here. We're all the same people. And I think we all somewhat want the same thing. And that is a better experience. Uh, so first, when I heard about this position, I'm not going to lie, I was enthralled at the challenge. I was like, this is going to be a good challenge that I want to I wanna do. Uh, but then when I got to learn more about the position and what comes with it, I was like, oh, it's a good opportunity, not only for me to do self-growth and like evolve and all of that, but also do that as a community. That's what I'm aiming for. And um, I think... Um, Something that comes with this role is like being an active listener because I believe every idea should ha like should be listened to and treated with respect. And I was like, sure, I can do that. I want to do that. And I guess that's it. Yeah, so uh, for this position, literally right now in my, uh, I, I have a full-time job. I'm ready to quit that just because uh, the way I felt uh, in uh, while being a student, I missed out a lot of things. I had to go on the GBC website to look for um, all all other uh, programs that uh, George Brown uh, has provided by my own money. The fee I paid, international students are paying three times. They are not getting the same the benefits they're not uh, they don't know the benefits that's the reason that motivated me to get, get on this position um, I, I went into hunt for um, resume building and tax clinics but George Brown provided all that and uh, on the same time I couldn't get those uh, all those benefits just because I didn't knew that I had to hunt for it just that gap I want to clear that gap I want to get more uh, events run through, uh, events, not just parties or all kind of events that uh, give you information. Also, camp, uh, COVID is done. So not, now let's take all the uh, juice out to get uh, full campus experience. Hello, everyone. So... Uh, I will work on three aspects. Uh, first is to uh, make awareness among the students about the programs. And when I came to George Brown, I figured that every, each and every service by myself, I was not aware of all these services. So um, I don't want these students to uh, go out themselves and search for these services. I want to make them aware of these services beforehand. And uh, the other thing I would like to do is to do more events so that uh, uh, students can network with other uh, by inviting business leaders and uh, doing uh, events and organizing debates and asking for students for their hobbies so that uh, we can organize those events according to their hobbies so that they can um, uh, involve more in those events. And uh, lastly, uh, I would like to uh, make sure that students get connected with these, these events uh, of their choice. And uh, in last, I would say that I would like to make their event, uh, their student life so memorable that even after graduating from George Brown uh, as an alumni, uh, they can have a wonderful memories. Thank you. Hello, can you feed me with the question again? Yes. Um, so your question is, what does being director of student experience mean according to you? And how will you maximize the platform if uh, platform that you have if elected? I think like being a director of student experience, it's like making, adding something to the life of the students that will be memorable to them till their till the end of their life till their death so 
like what I can do, the events and the things are like still going on in like the general managers, I think they all know how to just do the events and that stuff. I will like kind of add something like gaming, gaming stuff. Like we only have like foosball and this uh, pool table. I would like to add more like gaming stuff. Uh, kind of Uno. There's this card game called Uno. That's fun. And like instruments, I would like to add instruments like musical instruments that can be kept in the student association and they can be played, but can like for a bit of time, like for a, hour, a specific hours that they, they will be open for specific hours. And there are a lot of other things like I don't remember anything. <laughs> so that's all. I think the student experience is about building a community. I owe a lot to George Brown. I owe a lot to student association itself and the students. I feel like it's a community that we have built. We all are family and uh, there are always ups and downs in the families. We always have to hear it out. And what I think is this place is about it. I mean, we all have, we almost of us have left our homes and together we can build a place student association what i feel has all of the resources we came out of a pandemic and it was a difficult time for all of us online and everything we completely hear about the international students we are working alongside with the canadian federation of students a small part of your tuition is going to the canadian federation of students which is fighting which is standing up in the elections and which is standing up outside the parliamentary houses, fighting for the international student fees. We do have a lot of clubs and doing their part. We do have community care center promoting what they want to, placing, creating a place where people feel they are, that they belong to. And I think we have everything in the place. It's just the execution that we need. And slowly and gradually, we are going to bring the change. Thank you so much, everyone. Um, th that was your final round. So the only thing left to do now is to give you a closing statement. So um, since we do have some time, I will allow 90 seconds instead of one minute. Um, so I guess we can once again go from this end. And uh, yeah, your closing statement for this whole debate. Thank you. OK. Um, so another point that I would like to mention St like student experience, when we think about that, we only think about the fun stuff, the events, the good stuff. But as students, we all know that it's not just about the good stuff. Like it's not about only going to medicine party and have fun. I also believe that we should have like some some kind of you know support system. For example, I plan to coordinate with uh, well-being services to ha have that support all the time uh, for students when they need it. And another thing that I think we should do is that we do have social media, but we have like lots of platform as the students sometimes it, it even becomes chaotic for me. I'm like, I want to find something and I just search GBC and I like have bajillion accounts. I don't know which one I should go to and all of them are promoting something and all of that. I think like a little more struct a structured social media presence would be better for us. And also, I believe it's not only about having the right opportunities, it's about using those opportunities rights. And that's what I intend to do. Thank you. Hello. So uh, director of student experience is not just about uh, connecting uh, with involving students with the services, uh, involving them in the events, or organizing the events. It's about uh, the overall growth of the students and building up their skills in a holistic way so um like i would like to create a environment where people can come up and uh, show their leadership skills open up the make a network in the uh, not just in the college george brown and even outside of the college to uh, they can build a strong network so that after that they graduate and uh, they have a strong communication skills leadership skills and uh, they can uh, go reach to a better better position in their life thank you thank you 
I think as human beings, all of us are being fascinated about the big changes that we see our way. Oh, we are going to do this. We are going to do that. But I feel that organizations that conquer and the changes, the big changes that happen take a lot of time because that because that involves a lot of process as well as a lot of planning, research and execution. I feel the student association has been doing great. It has a lot of services. It has it has. it has this place i mean the student lounge outside a lot of people hang out there it's it's a community for them that they have created for themselves and student association has been there the bag has always been there but what i feel is that we do have the resources in place it's just the execution that we need at this point of time and one year tenure is never enough it's the process that we need to go on and that we need to put our hard work in it's the it's the change that all of us can bring together i mean the some parts of each and every human beings i think if we contribute together together we can make a change world is a beautiful place together and i think all of us on this table have some unique ideas we can contribute together and let's take student association to other heights uh i think that everything in the student association is in already in place like there are stuff like to be added but most of the stuff is like it is organized but it is just like we need to execute as himran said uh and moreover like being when i become if i become the director of student experience i'll make the life of students easier and better and like a bit challenging so they don't get lazy so that's all with the role of a director of student experience i want to help in every way i can and i think the most important way we can do that is by making sure we listen we hear everyone's voice we make sure their opinions are valued and we help bring them to life or help do the most we can so with that being said Let's make this year the best year we ever had. Uh so if I am elected as a director of student experience I have a few innovative ideas that would that I would like to bring to the table and uh, as correctly uh, said by Peter that uh, you know it is really uh, important to listen but I think along with listening it is also important to execute uh, after listening uh, to feedback and uh, like Simran said that we have all the resources in place we have all the clubs we have all the services it is just that we need the right execution we need to make some changes so that we can actually use those services to and, and make sure that everybody gets equal opportunity to make use of these services and these uh, you know events and uh, i have a vision of uh, enhancing uh, the college experience uh, for existing and new students i want students from all the backgrounds and all the culture Uh, all the different cultures take part and benefit from these uh, uh, you know resources and from these services and i want to make uh, this college and uh, and a place where everybody feels safe and everybody feels heard and they can express themselves so i have been with george bam more than 2 years now i have uh, i feel i have kind of detect, uh, detected the problem uh, about the events all the execution stuff we lack uh, a lot about execution college has provided a lot of resources but there is a lack of uh, execution i would more focus on that also i would level up the game uh, how do i think about that doing it's more about not just parties uh, it's more about the concerts we uh, george brown uh, in the last two years there has been no concerts then uh, also all the parties are done in this student lounge also all the events are on just kasaloma campus we haven't gone through uh, other campus no uh, there are some events done at waterfront uh, none of them uh, are done at st james that thing i i think i uh, i've been uh, with george brown that's why i know the problems i just want to get rid of those problems because uh, when i selected this college i thought it it's the best i i want to make make everything best not just the academic uh, stuff also the events the resources to provide to the students to make them 
the best out of themselves. Thank you. Thank you very much to all the candidates. Thank you for sharing your plans, your visions, and what you hope to do if elected as a director of student experience. To all the students, um, the campaigning period will go on until the end of the month and voting will start on the 27th of this month. So kindly do vote. You can vote either online or in person. There will be certain booths available at different campuses where you can go and vote, um, or you can also vote from uh, your own phones or your own devices. Thank you once again to all the seven candidates who are here with us today, and we wish you all luck on your campaigning.